This particular storm, um, it, it's not so much the amount of snow, but the type of snow. This was an extremely wet, heavy snow. It hung on the trees, uh, bent those over and knocked the lines down. When the snow melts, it comes back up and uh, the trees come back up and knock those lines off again. This event was a little bit unusual in the, in, in the sense of the amount of damage that occurred. We've got probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 70 broken poles, lines on the ground everywhere. At the height of the storm, 70,000 of our customers were without service, and that's just a little less than 50% of our total connections. Uh, our priorities are to get the uh, primary lines back on. We start at the substations first, then we do the three-phase lines, and from then uh, the, the single-phase taps. We appreciate your patience. Uh, our guys are, are, are working 24 hours a day. Uh, in the field making sure that we get our customers back on as quickly as we can, but they're working in some pretty difficult conditions. It makes it extremely difficult for us to get our equipment into the rights of way to, to, to rebuild the lines. A lot of it uh, we're having to do by hand but because we can't get the equipment uh, to the uh, damages. Again, because of the extensive uh, amount of damage out there, it's gonna, it's gonna be a while. The more you get on, uh, the slower it gets. With the amount of damage that we have, uh, we're, we're doing it as quickly as we can and as safely as we can. It's all hands on deck and will be until we get uh, all of our customers back on.